Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so fun, so exciting. We're gonna be talking about the brand new ColourPop Chrome Liquid Shadows. So we first saw these in the Legend of Korra collection. If you haven't seen that video, I have an entire review and swatches and stuff um, on my channel already, but we first saw these in that collection. It was like what I was most excited for and I loved them. So I am so happy to see that they are coming out with nine new shades. So these are launching on Thursday, April 20th at 10 a.m. PST. As always, you guys can use my code. It is just Katrina and it'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. On their Instagram, it says these are here to take your eye makeup game to the next level. With just one swipe, the ultra reflective pearls and color shifting formula deliver a message mesmerizing multi-dimensional chrome finish that shifts with every angle of light. Also be at Ulta on April 30th. So um, if you guys are wondering about that, all nine shades here. So excited. I was literally waiting for this package um, all day long. I was like, please come. I cannot wait to film with them. So here they are right here. They are stunning. And I feel like these colors are just so hard to capture on camera but look at how beautiful these are a lot of different um shades in here and a lot of different options if you want something a little bit more on the natural natural for a chrome shadow side <laughs> or um something a lot more bold so i'm going to put those swatches in right here i'll try to show these off as best as possible um it's really hard to capture the true magic of these shadows with a camera they like you can't really tell the shift unless it's like in person so i'll try to do them with my studio lights and then i'll turn off the lights and use like my camera flash to show you kind of maybe to see if the shift will show up more that way also i know the flash really shows the sparkle so i wanted to show that in the swatches as well really hard for me to describe these but let me try at least um so glaze is like a frosty white with a green and purple and orangey shift to it a little bit of pink as well sweetser avenue which oh my god i hate that street so much in la <laughs> this is a green with an orange shift to it a little bit of pink again very hard to describe these bliss has um it's a green with a pink base this one looks more pink on camera but like when i'm looking at it it's so weird i'm looking at it in the viewfinder it looks pink in front of my eyes it looks green so um it's like a pinkish green if i can i know sometimes ColourPop will put the descriptions um in like the web on the website or something so i'll try to put those in the description next to the name as well that way you guys can get a better accurate description of each shade beetle is a true like green beetle shade if you've ever seen them flying around this is the exact shade of that it's a green with like a purpley blue shift morpho is a blue like really bright blue with a green orange purple shift <laughs> i think um decode which love the name this one is on camera it looks like a bronze but in front of my eyes i get away from the light it's like a green and orangey a little bit of blue shift to it maybe some purple in there it's really hard to describe these you guys same vibe is a purple with a green shift to it that's what i have on the outer part of my eye see you later is a bright green like a chartreuse green with a purpley shift a little bit of yellow as well maybe like more of a yellowy green and then lastly supernova bright purple i'm looking in the camera against the light it is like a green and blue yellow kind of shift it's so hard to describe these you guys like i said put the descriptions out on the website i'll put them next to the names in the description box to make it easier for you because i'm so bad at describing colors guys, those are all of the shades like i said these are launching on thursday i will link everything down below for you guys once they are available love duochrome shadows and i always have i think there are a lot on the market but i love seeing ColourPop do their own and i love that ColourPop has been focusing more on just singular products and not so much the collection um i just love seeing them expand their permanent line of things rather than like limited edition collections you know so i'm really excited about these uh like i said i did do a look using a couple of these today and this is the look that i came up with right here so if you guys want to see how i got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on these then just keep watching okay i've already done my entire base and i'm just baking right now so we're just going to focus on the eyes i kind of have been playing around with like the colors to see like what little duo i wanted to try and i think I've decided on this duo right here which is Beetle and 
same vibe. I want to do like a exaggerated, bold, thick wing look. I don't know. I think I'm going to do the green on the inner part. So this one's like a green to purple shift, kind of like a little bit of like a yellowy green. Um, very much like it's called beetle. It reminds me of little green beetles that fly around. So I'm going to go in with this. I'm going straight with the applicator. And I'm going to use this on the inner part of the eye. So... Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> love this. This is so pigmented right away too. If you guys watched my Legend of Korra video where the liquid chrome shadows first came out in that collection, I feel like they were not this like um, creamy and thick. Not thick, but like as creamy and pigmented. This is so pretty. It's like the exact color of like a beetle. Um, so I'm going to go in the other half. I'm going to do like a wing kind of thing with same vibe and then I'll blend them into each other in the middle. So I'm just going out and then I'll go in like that. And this one's like a purple with a green shift to it. It's like the opposite of each other, you know? This one's like a green with a purple, and so is a purple with a green. I am going to clean this little edge up too with some concealer. Okay, I see like this one reminds me of the ones in the Legend of Korra one where I kind of have to like build it up a little bit. I'm just going to take my finger and blend them together in the middle. See, I think the purple one I'm going to have to go over again but the green one i don't feel like i need to do that at all like that one was so pigmented right away yeah this one looks a little bit patchy i'm not gonna lie that beetle shade though not at all um let me clean this little outer part up going with one more layer it only requires two layers this one like i said is same vibe that second layer really does make a huge difference okay yeah absolutely second layer makes a huge difference and you do have like a lot of work time with these which i really like and i'm not mad about it needing a second layer it's not anything that i would like stray away from like not using them you know um i love they blend in together really well too this is so pretty i i love also like um, I kind of like swatched them earlier on the back of my hand. I kind of like just wiped it away with a towel. And if you just really sheer it out, it leaves like this beautiful, just like glittery sparkle look to just anything. Um, it, it looks so pretty just like sheared out like that. So pretty. That's like, like, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh my God. I love it. I love it so much. I'll do this eye eventually. I'll get to it. <laughs> but for my inner part, I kind of want to use this shade glaze. It's this one. I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner also damn i forgot these like kind of oh i just i just fucked it up i just messed messed that up right now um you kind of have to let them dry and not like make your eyes crease if that makes sense actually i don't know because this one was fine i guess it just really depends on each one just be safe just let your eyes kind of like go like this um that way it doesn't like crease or anything I'm just kind of let that dry a little bit. I'm going in with glaze on the inner part right here. So pretty. I'm gorgeous. Orangey, kind of frosty color, but it looks white in the bottle. Kind of bring that up right here. I love that. Still haven't done this eye yet. I'll get to it. I just wanted to do this one. Yeah, this purple one, I feel like. Um, you need to let set. This one I'm not really noticing the, that problem, but this one for sure you need to like keep your eyes open or else it's going to kind of crease. Um, but I love it. It's giving Hulk vibes. Um, She-Hulk if you will. I really like how this looks. It's so pretty. I'm going to do this eye really quick and then I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup while I'm at it. I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, other eye is done and this is the finished look. Um, if you guys are wondering, I have Kiwi Fuzz from About Face on my lips. I love this color so much. I feel like it just goes with like every look. Um, but 
Let me give you guys my final thoughts on these. These came out in the Legend of Korra collection. I knew I was going to love these so much. I was so excited for them to come out with more colors. So I love them. Just so beautiful. And even though these are duochromes, I will say I feel like this isn't too crazy of a look. Maybe it's just me. I wear looks like this all the time. But I don't think this is like so unwearable. Like... I would wear this out. Don't ever be scared to play with color or duochromes or fun looks. So beautiful. Like when the light hits it, uh, it's really hard to tell with these direct like studio lights hitting me because it's just direct light. But like when you go and like move around and like have different lighting hitting you, you have like indirect light or even like the flash on your like phone. Oh, it is so beautiful. The flash, when the flash hits these, they are so sparkly. They are beautiful. Like I cannot get enough of how they look with like the flash they're so pretty i like can't stress it enough how beautiful they are it's something that like a camera truly can't capture i feel like they're just it's something you need to see in person they're so this was like the easiest look ever it was not hard to do took me about like no more than 10 minutes if that i want to say it feels heavy on the eyes but it definitely feels like i have something on my eyes you know um but i think it's just because i just applied it i think if i was wearing it through the day i wouldn't really notice how it feels um but yeah, I just wanted to mention that really quick. I do think there is a learning curve with these for sure. I mentioned that also in the Legend of Korra video. Um, I think once you play around with them and kind of learn how the formula works, it will be super easy. I'm still trying to like learn how to work with these. Um, but I will say that that beetle shade was super easy to use. I didn't have to work with it at all. This one applied great. Um, that's the green shade on the inner part of the eye. Had no issues at all. Went on super pigmented. This one set not fast, but it didn't take too long to set either. Um, so I didn't really have to worry about it creasing or anything while my eyes were open and moving. Um, and this one is so pretty. I love this one. If you're going to pick up any of them, I think Beetle is my favorite out of everything. Um, the shade that I have on the outer part, which is um, same vibe. Again, I really like it, but this is one of the ones I feel like you do have to work with. Um, well, maybe. I don't know. I felt like on this side, I don't know if it's because I like tried to blend it out right away or something. This one looked a little bit more patchy at first. I just took a little bit more product this time when I went on this eye. Like I just took like a tad bit more product than I did when I initially went on on this side. And I didn't have an issue. Like it kind of went on almost similarly than how the Beetle shade went on. So it's, you just kind of had to figure out the right amount of product to go in initially with and like make it pigmented. Ooh, like It's like a... A love and a hate thing that they don't set right away because I like that you have that work time to um, play around with it and blend it into other shades if you need to. Um, the only thing is like you kind of have to like keep your head tilted back or like look down until it fully sets um, or else it, it will crease a little bit. But again, I don't know if that's for every shade because the beetle shade I didn't notice that but the purple one I did. did notice that one also with the ones from the Legend of Korra collection. I did have to like kind of wait for them to set but on the upside of it not setting right away you do have more play time with them you don't have to like rush to do like a certain shape with the eye look or you know blend it out or anything like that um they blend into each other really well and because it doesn't set right away i feel like that also helps with like if you want to add another layer it doesn't get dry and like you know how sometimes with liquid shadows if it's dry and you try to go over it with like another layer it will just take the product off underneath and kind of flake away this one i haven't noticed that at all um, with these ones or the ones from the other collection. I didn't notice that. That's why I do kind of think that like them not setting right away is a beneficial thing more so than like a negative thing. A lot of work time with them which I do like. So those are my final thoughts. I really do like them. I think if you're going to pick any up, Beetle is the shade. Like this is beautiful. It is the exact like when I think of like the little flying green beetles, this is like the exact color of them. It's perfect. Um, and I think this one was like the easiest one to use for sure. I like I've seen a lot of people say that these are tiny and I do agree they are very tiny. They're small. Um, but I also feel like with products like this, sometimes if it is bigger, I don't go through them and they just kind of go to waste and they dry out um with like half of the product left in them for like products like this I, I don't think I've ever in my life in my life <laughs> finished a liquid shadow um or anything of that kind you know so I think even though it is small I think it's a fine size for it compared to the prices of some of the other duochrome products on the market I think this one is pretty affordable still or um obviously cruelty free I don't know if all of like the duochrome ones on the market are but that is something to keep in mind so 
Anyways, all in all, I really like them. I'm so excited to play around with the rest of the shades. I take one of these to Coachella because they're really easy and they're beautiful and they're just like nice and fun. I think this would look so pretty in the sun too. So um, I don't know. We'll see. Hope that you guys like this video and I hope that it was helpful for you. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.